In the ever-expanding landscape of television series, few have left as indelible a mark as the 1984 show Hunter. Unfolding against a backdrop of suspense and intrigue, the series weaves a compelling narrative that has resonated with audiences over the years. As we delve into the nuances of this gripping tale, one cannot help but wonder, can you share a personal story of how this TV series has inspired or impacted your life? Before we unravel the layers of Hunter, consider this. Do you have a cherished memory associated with this TV series? Many viewers find themselves tethered to its narrative, drawn in by the characters, and the palpable tension that defines each episode. Now, let's explore some random facts about the show that may surprise you. Hunter not only captivated audiences with its riveting plot lines, but also introduced innovative storytelling techniques that set it apart from its contemporaries. The series stands as a testament to the power of well-crafted narratives, leaving an enduring legacy in the annals of television history. As we navigate the labyrinth of Hunter, we invite you to share your most cherished memory or personal experience related to this TV series. Your stories and memories are a vital part of the larger tapestry that makes Hunter a timeless classic. We would love to hear your reflections in the comments below. And so, the stage is set, the questions posed, and the curtain rises on the enigmatic world of Hunter. Stay tuned for more insights and discussions on this iconic TV series. Your participation enriches the conversation and adds depth to the shared experience of television enthusiasts. Detective Sergeant Rick Hunter's badge number 89 holds a connection to Dreyer's past as a Los Angeles Rams player with the same jersey number. This small detail adds a personal touch to the character, reflecting the actor's history. The opening montage in early seasons cleverly compiled footage from different points in season one, including the judge's gavel from episode seven, Pen Pals, where Hunter faced a homicide charge. This resourceful approach created a dynamic intro using scenes already filmed, showcasing the series' practicality. The recurring theme of Hunter driving junk cars wasn't just a stylistic choice. It was a cost-effective decision driven by the frequent script demand to wreck his vehicle. In reality, police cars adhere to high-maintenance standards, unlike Hunter's perpetually battered rides. In essence, the badge number, opening montage, and car choice in the 1984 TV series Hunter are more than mere details. They intricately tie personal history, practical filmmaking, and financial considerations into the fabric of the show. Detective Sergeant Rick Hunter's stoic demeanor was punctuated by his signature catchphrase, works for me. This succinct expression became a hallmark of the character throughout the series, encapsulating his no-nonsense approach to crime solving. Beyond the badge number and car choices, this catchphrase added a distinctive layer to Hunter's persona, shaping the audience's perception of the dedicated detective. As the series progressed, the producers faced a pivotal decision in season three. Sergeant Bernie Terwilliger's fate hung in the balance, and when Fred Dreyer, embodying Hunter, learned of his colleague's impending demise, he voiced his objection. Swiftly, the script was revised, sparing Terwilliger and bringing in Robert Firth, previously Riley Cosland, to face the fatal twist of fate. Notably, this turn of events took an unexpected directorial role for Whitmore, deepening the series behind-the-scenes narrative. In the ensemble cast, Detective Sergeant Dee Dee McCall played a vital role. Her badge number 358 underscored her individuality within the narrative. While not as overtly emphasized as Hunter's, McCall's character was defined by this subtle detail, adding nuance to her role in the crime-solving duo. In essence, beyond the surface details of badge numbers and practical filmmaking, Hunter's catchphrase and the behind-the-scenes decisions regarding character fates offer a glimpse into the layers that enriched the 1984 TV series. These elements, woven into the fabric of the show, contributed to its enduring appeal and the dynamics that unfolded on and off-screen. Detective Sergeant Rick Hunter's firearm underwent a series of changes throughout the show shifting from a 9mm semi-auto to a .44 Magnum, then to an IMI Desert Eagle, back to a revolver, and finally back to a semi-auto pistol. However, an interesting consistency emerged. The gun displayed in the show's introduction remained the unaltered 9mm semi-auto. This subtle discrepancy adds a layer of intrigue to Hunter's character evolution and the show's attention to detail. 
the fictional television station broadcasting news in the series, KXRX, shared its call letters with a real radio station in Seattle, Washington, KXRX 96.5 FM. This connection extends beyond the narrative, introducing an unexpected link between the fictional world of Hunter and a tangible element from reality. The choice of these call letters adds an intriguing dimension to the show's universe, subtly blurring the lines between fiction and the actual broadcasting landscape. Another noteworthy detail lies in Detective Sergeant Rick Hunter's Blue Car, a familiar sight to keen-eyed viewers of Hill Street Blues. In Season 6, Episode 11, titled Two Easy Pieces, the same car makes an appearance, complete with a spotlight mounting hole on the driver's side windshield pillar. This cross-series cameo subtly weaves an interconnected thread between the two iconic shows, offering fans an Easter egg that transcends the boundaries of individual storylines. These nuanced details, from Hunter's ever-changing sidearm to the shared call letters and the crossover car, contribute to the richness of the 1984 TV series, creating a viewing experience that goes beyond the surface narrative. The creator's commitment to consistency and interconnectedness adds an extra layer of engagement for dedicated fans, making the show a memorable piece of television history. Detective Sergeant Rick Hunter's firearm underwent a notable evolution in the 1984 TV series. While his sidearm changed frequently, an interesting consistency emerged with the 9mm semi-auto featured in the show's introduction. In Season 1, Hunter wielded a Heckler in Cock P9S Sport, a rare and discontinued competition handgun with revolutionary features. Notably, despite the variety in handguns, Hunter exclusively used a Franchise Spa's 12 shotgun throughout the series. This highly advanced shotgun, known for its switchable pump action to semi-automatic and use of blank ammunition, played a distinctive role in Hunter's arsenal. Moreover, the TV series showcased Hunter's familiar green sedan a 1977 Dodge Monaco, adding a recognizable element to his character. The interconnectedness of firearms, including the iconic Spas 12, underlines the show's commitment to consistency, providing fans with an engaging and memorable viewing experience. As we bid adieu to the captivating world of Hunter, let's take a moment to journey back through time where the echoes of the 1984 TV series still linger in our memories. Like a well-worn leather jacket, Hunter has seamlessly woven itself into the fabric of our lives, leaving indelible imprints on our hearts. As you reflect on the gritty streets and the relentless pursuit of justice, consider the moments that sparked a flame within you. Was it the gripping plot twists, the raw intensity of the characters, or the pulsating beats of the soundtrack that resonated with your soul? In the labyrinth of nostalgia, we find ourselves, each viewer, a unique traveler on this riveting odyssey. Now, I invite you to share your personal tapestry of memories and thoughts about Hunter. Whether it's a clandestine rendezvous with the series during late-night marathons or a shared bonding experience with friends and family, your story adds a vibrant thread to the rich tapestry of Hunter enthusiasts. Connect with fellow fans, unravel the tales, and let the collective heartbeat of nostalgia reverberate. Thank you for joining us on this trip down memory lane, where Hunter isn't just a TV series, but a companion in our personal chronicles. Your presence in this shared exploration makes it all the more enriching. Until we meet again, keep those memories alive, and may the spirit of Hunter continue to inspire. Farewell, dear viewers, and thank you for your time and unwavering interest in the world of Hunter. It's been a pleasure sharing this space with you. Until next time, keep the flame of nostalgia burning bright.